Continuing right along. This is an explanation of what it says in the Talmud. There are three watches of the night, etc. The night is an aspect of darkness. That is obstacles. And the obstacles are an aspect of three watches. That is the aspect of the three attributes that we previously discussed. This is what it says in Tom. The first watch, Hamur Noir. The donkey, I don't know what it's called in English, but it makes its noises. But it, it's it's awake and it brays maybe. Bray sounds good. Taivus Momun. This is an aspect of the desire for money. Bechinas, an aspect Yisachar Chamor says of the son of Jacob Yisachar, it like the Torah and like likens him to a donkey. Chamor Goram, and the translation of Unculus, the holy translation on that verse, What does it mean that he's likened to a donkey? It means that he is wealthy. Probably because Chamor, can also, which means donkey, also means Chumrios, means worldliness, which would be extended to having possessions. Shnia, the second watch, the Talmud says, Klavim Tzuakim, the dogs are screaming, they're barking, growling. Zebachinas Tavaz Achila, this is an aspect of the desire to eat. Kemoshe Kasuv, as it says in Isaiah, Baklavim Azei Nefesh Lo Yadu Sava, and the, the dogs are brazen, they do not know satiation. So their screaming is an aspect of the desire to eat. Shlishis, the third watch, Tom says, Tinok Yonik Mishte Imo, an infant, the infant's nurse from their mother's breast. The Isha Misapara Simbala, and a woman speaks with her husband. Sometimes speaks also means to have relations. Zebachinus Mishkal, this is an aspect of sex. Moshe Omer was out, like our sages of blessed memory said, Ra'ua Medaberus Fuchulu, he saw her speaking, but it means in that context that she was doing more than speaking. So we see that the third watch, when a woman speaks with her husband, the baby speaks. Is an aspect of the of the sexual desire. This is also what it says in this third watch. The infants are nursing or sucking from their mother's breasts. Because the sexual desire is according to how the baby nursed. If the infant nurses milk from a woman. Who's brazen was chutzpah, Ade miskaber bo taivazu. Then this desire, sexual desire, will be very prominent in him. Kidam nekar v'nasachal, because blood congeals, become becomes hard, and it becomes it becomes milk. That's milk. The milk of a woman comes from her blood. That's how. That's how. The milk turns into blood. But Alkin Kishi Khatsufa, so therefore if she is brazen, if she is Khatsufa, Khutpa, Azimazik Latino Khalov Hanasemiachiosama. So then the infant that is nursing from her bl- from her milk is gonna be damaged and harmed from the milk which came from her blood, from the hardening of her blood. And there will be born to him, it will result in him, a heat in his heart. 
the heat of this desire. Shuhu is kabus taibazu, which is this the strengthening of this desire. V'chein lehepech, and so too in the reverse, k'shiyon echalevisha k'sheva, if an infant is nursing from the milk of a kosher woman, as a libo chalo b'kibo, then his heart is clean, it's like empty from desire inside of him. Be'enol chamimus, he doesn't have this heat, this desire. Rak me'ala mukhroch l'mitzvah sabo yisbach shmo, only a little which is necessary to do the commandment of the Holy Blessed Creator. This is what our sages of blessed memory said in the Talmud. King David was not really in the paradigm of of that thing that he did, that he slept with Asheva. Because it says, King David said on himself that his heart is completely clean, completely empty of this t- of this desire. These words that King David said, that my heart is empty inside of me, Rashi Tevos Chalav, the their acronym spells out Chalav, milk. That is to say that through the fact that he he nursed only from <coughs> milk from a kosher woman, so his heart was was free, was clean from desire. The Amos and this desire for the sexual desire does not become strong prominent in him. So how came David? So therefore, King David, that was in this aspect, lo lo he really wasn't. On that paradigm for for that act that he did, and in the reverse, the milk of a woman who's brazen was chutzpah, creates a great heat desire. An aspect of what it says in the Psalms, my heart is heated up inside of me, which also spells out the acronym. Rashi tables chalav canal. So you see that the milk of the woman, uh, the milk is uh, is very instrumental in whether a person has or does not have this desire for the sexual desire. And the and it's in the third watch that the infants are nursing. This is what our sages of blessed memory said in the Talmud. That on every watch, the Holy Blessed One sits, so to speak, and roars like a lion. That is to say, on the detraction, the degeneration of the fear. Because all these three watches of the night, the night is an allusion to the obstacles that are caused by these three desires. So on every one of these desires, which is taking away from the fear of the heart, the Holy Blessed One roars like a lion. An aspect of what it says in the Prophet Amos, a lion roars who does not fear. Because these three attributes, which are an aspect of the three watches, they detract from the from the building of Jerusalem, which is the completion of fear, which is dependent on the heart. So that's the the Indian, the idea that the Holy Blessed One is roaring like a lion, because the roaring of the lion is an aspect of fear. Because since the fear is leaving, so the Holy Blessed One is roaring like a lion, which creates fear. Nanach nach monach mimam.